you ever heard people say, why me? Why me? Why is it happening to me? I overheard a person the other day, and they were going on and on and on. And when I say on and on and on, when I was eating, I was listening, and it continued through the entire lunch. A kind of a pity party. And I know that this person has at the least indigestion, and they certainly don't feel any better from their vortex of negative thinking that they're feeling. If you have ever asked in your life, and who hasn't, why me? When some seemingly unjust treatment or circumstance comes our way, well, such thinking is really only worry thinking that can hold us in an inner conflict constantly, going over our list of grievances. Instead of being caught or hooked into a circle of reasoning with ourselves over an apparent injustice, let us instead, in prayer, boldly proclaim God's law of justice as active in our lives and affairs. And in so doing, we conform our thoughts, our attitudes, our lives, and our own world to the truth of God. God's law of justice is a divinely created principle that is always available to us. We invoke it as we realize and affirm and welcome it into our daily living. As we yield ourselves fully to God's justice of absolute good working in us and in our loved ones, in our lives, we find that our lives and our world align in a divine justice. God has created an enduring justice that we can call into activity anytime, anywhere. Let us in prayer claim God's justice as our own. In Isaiah 61, verse 8, it says, I, the Lord, love justice. Well, let God's justice work in your life. And I pray today that God's law of justice is the justice active in your life.